Hi, this is Ms. Smith, and we are on Lesson 3.1b today. Lesson 3.1a was called fractions on a number line. 3.1b is decimals on a number line. So we have the same learning target. The student locates and positions integers and other rational numbers on a number line, as well as the student positions ordered pairs of integers and other rational numbers on a coordinate plane. So in 3.1b, we put fractions on a number line and we put fractions on a coordinate plane. In 3.1b here, we're going to do decimals. So A was fractions, B is decimals, but both are rational numbers. You know from lesson 3.1a that rational numbers are pretty much all the positives, all the negatives, and fractions and decimals, right? So let's get started with our notes. Um, your notes are probably not in color like mine, um, but I wanted to show you this because we're not going to write anything on this part. What I want to show you is this is basically the place value chart for decimal places. So here's our decimal place right here. Everything to the left of the decimal, those are whole numbers or possibly integers, right? So this is the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place. So the first decimal place to the left of the decimal is worth one. So if you have a five here, you have five ones. And this is all probably review, but we're going to focus this lesson on the decimal places after, right, to the right of the decimal place. And these decimal places are not whole numbers. They're part. They're part of a number, okay, just like fractions. So the first place is the tenths place. The next place after the decimal is the hundredths. The next place af after the decimal is the thousandths. Now, we're going to talk about what that means, especially as it relates to fractions and as it relates to number lines. OK, so let's take a look. Decimals from fractions with the denominator of 10. In, in 3.1a, we learned that if 0 is here and 1 is here, we're going to count how many pieces we broke that hole into, and then that's going to be the denominator. So if we do that, we've got 1. So if we start at 0, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So each of these pieces is 1 tenth. So this would be 0 tenths. This would be 1 tenth. This would be 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and 10 tenths would be 1. Now notice the sound of that. 1, 0 tenths, 1 tenth, 2 tenths. And look what place value this is right after the decimal. It's the tenths place. So 1 tenth as a fraction is the same as 1 tenth as a decimal. So what that looks like as a decimal is 0 0.1 with a 1 in the tenths place. The, the decimal place right after the decimal to the right is the tenths place. Here it looks like 0 0.1. Two, two tenths. Here it's 0 0.3, three tenths. That zero just means we have no whole number. So this in the ones column is zero. So there's no whole because one doesn't start till over here, right? So this would be 0 0.4 or four tenths. And again, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, and nine tenths, and here we have basically 10 tenths. So the 10 would look like this. The one goes there and the zero goes there. That's 10 tenths, which is one. Now, so when you're thinking about decimals, you always want to break your hole. The whole thing is from zero to one. You're going to break your hole into base 10 numbers, either tenths or hundredths or thousandths. So, you know, 10 has one zero, 100 has two zeros, so it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, right? It's just one more zero. Those are called base 10 numbers, right? So when you think about decimals, 
they're doing the same thing as fractions, but you're always going to cut up your whole into either tenths, like one, like it's going to be 10 pieces, or it's going to be 100 pieces, or it's going to be 1,000 pieces, okay? So that your, your denominator is either going to be 10, like it is here, or it's going to be 100, or it's going to be 1,000. It's always going to be a base 10 number in the denominator, okay? And then this is the tenths place. Let's look at the hundreds, okay? So the next decimal place after the tenths is the hundredths. So let's look at that on a number line, okay? So let's look closely here. We've got, here's the zero and here's the one, all right? So you have zero hundredths. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to get to the one tenth place, okay? So if you think about this as, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths, right? This is, if we think about it in terms of hundred, so there's the one tenth, there's the two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five, but what is that zero afterwards, right? What is that zero? That's a zero in the hundredths place. So if we count up all these little ones, we have 10 between zero and one tenth. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, wait, wait, whoa. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so I'm gonna slow down and just do that again because I don't know how clear that was. Up here, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and we call those tenths. But down here, we have all, all these little ones in between. So there's 10 there, another 10 there, another 10 there. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So because we're counting all these little tiny ones, there's 10 and then 10 more and then 10 more. So when we when we break up from one to from zero to one, we've broken it into a hundred parts. So the debt, the fract, the debt, the denominator is now a hundred. And here, from here to here, we have 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 10 one hundredths. So 10 one hundredths is written like this: 0 0.10. That zero is in the hundredths place. Notice though that 10 one hundredths is the same as one tenth. Or right? One, one tenth as a fraction, one tenth as a decimal, ten one hundredths as a fraction, ten one hundredths as a decimal. It's just that the pieces are a lot smaller, right? Ten one hundredths is ten tiny little pieces. One tenth is one, you know, little bit bigger piece. It's just like what we were doing with fractions. Decimals and fractions basically do the same thing. So let's figure out what this dot is right here where this blue arrow is. What is that? I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you so we can look at this a little more closely. Maybe I'll try to. OK, let's zoom in. What where is that right there? That blue arrow? Well, let's figure it out. If this is 10 and this is 20, this is going to be 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that's going to be 0 0.25. OK, there's 25 tiny little one hundredth pieces. These are one, one hundredth, two hundredth, three hundredth, four hundredth, right? Until we get to 10 one hundredths. If we count them up, that little blue arrow is at 0 0.25 or 25 one hundredths. Okay, let's figure out what this one is. If this is 30 one hundredths, that's 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. That's 0 0.36 one hundredths. OK, let's do this blue one down here. Here is 0 0.75, 0 0.70. So that's 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 0 0.75. And the reason it's zero in the front, remember, is because we haven't gotten to one yet. Once we get past one, then we would have one in the front. And then once we get past two, we would have two in the front. But we have gotten to a whole number yet. These are still just parts of the whole. All right. Now, fractions are two ways basically to write the same thing. So look at this. We've got zero to one and we've got one, two, three, four. We have four. So we know that the denominator is fourths here. 
right? We know this from our fraction lesson that the denominator is four and we now have broken this into four pieces, but how do we translate that into decimals? Remember for decimals, we either have to break this into 10 pieces for tenths, or we have to break this into 100 pieces for hundredths, right? So if we think about how we can do this, one fourth, if we had 100 pieces in here, look, we would have 25 pieces right here. We would have 50 pieces right here. We would have 75 pieces right here, and then 100 pieces right here. So if we look, if we follow this down, right? If we follow this down, this is 0 0.25 or 25 one hundredths is the same as one fourth because we're pretending like we've broken this into 100 pieces. If we follow this down, right? 50 one hundredths or 0 0.50 or even just 0 0.5. That's a half. Two fourths is one half. We know this five tenths is one half. 0.5 is one half. 50 one hundredths is one half. 50 one hundredths as a decimal, that's one half. Two fourths is one half, right? So 0 0.5 or 0 0.50, okay? Down here, we have 0 0.75 because if we broke this into 100 pieces, there'd be 25 here, another 25 here, another 25 here, and another 25 here, which means 25, 50, 75, 100, all right? Fractions and decimals tell you the same thing, but with decimals, the denominator always has to be 10 or 100 or 1,000. So the pieces have to be either tenths or one hundredths or tiny little pieces that are thousandths, okay? So if you think about a thousandth, if that's a hundredth right there, that little piece right there, a thousandth would have 10 pieces in between those two little pieces, right? A thousandth is a little tiny piece. All right, let's keep going. Let's put these on <clears throat> decimals on number lines and on coordinate planes now. And we'll zoom back out so we can see the whole page. Here we go. This is negative, so here's zero. I'm gonna mark that really clearly. There's zero, okay? So the positive numbers are going this way, one, two, three, and the negatives are going this way, negative one, negative two, negative three. So let's figure out what these numbers are. Let's start with this one. So it's not as decimals now. We're not going to do them as, well, maybe we'll do them as fractions and decimals so you can see. So here's zero, here's one. What did we break our hole into? Let's count them. One, so start with zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we've got tenths. So we know that this is one, two three tenths as a fraction that's three tenths as a decimal it is three in the tenths place okay let's try this one now we have a whole number here we we got to one and to two and but we're not all the way to three so we, we know that the little dashes are tenths so we're going to go two and one two three four tenths so as a, as a fraction, that looks like two and one, two, three, four, four tenths. It's a mixed number. As a decimal, that looks like two and four tenths. Okay, this is two and four tenths with tenths as a denominator. This is two and four tenths with four in the tenths place. OK, you can only do this if your denominator is 10 or 100 or 1000. OK, so let's go to the negative side. Here's our negative one. So this point here is not past the negative one. So this is zero. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is negative seven tenths or we would as a decimal, it's negative 0.7 or negative seven tenths, all right? Let's do this one. Now this one's past negative one. So it's negative one and one, two, three, four, five. So it's negative one and five tenths, which is also a half, by the way. And, or as a decimal, that's going to be negative 1.5.
negative 1.5, that five is in the tenths place. Okay, let's keep going to the three down here, or it's not all the way to three, is it? It's barely, the three is there, it's barely, it's almost to three. So we've got negative, th negative three and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I counted wrong. One, whew, there's the two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Negative three and nine tenths. As a decimal, that's negative three and nine in the tenths place. That's a nine, sorry, it looks like a Q. Okay, and that's us placing rational numbers on the number line as both fractions and decimals. Fractions and decimals pretty much tell you the same thing, right? But decimals have to have denominators of base 10 numbers, like 10 or 100 or 1,000. I'm going to throw something in here real quick. Let's say I want to know what this spot is right at. I'm going to start with the 1 because I have some room right here, okay? So I'm I'm going to say what is this and I'm going to do it I think in red. OK, let me find a red pen or here pink. I'm going to I'm going to take this one and that's one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths. But what is that right there? What is that right in between? It's not one and one, two, three tenths, but it's also not four tenths. It's somewhere right in the middle. So let's figure out what that is, right? in between. I told you in between there, in between the tenths, we have the hundredths, right? So if it's right in the middle, that's going to be as a decimal, one point in the tenths, it's one, two, three, right? Three, but it's not on three exactly, it's in between. So that would be three, five. So let's pretend like there's 10 little dashes in between those two, the, the three tenths and the four tenths. If there was 10 little dashes, the one right in the middle would be five, five tenths, right? So this in the middle is 1.35, which is one and 35 one hundredths. Because remember in between these, if there's 10 little dashes, those are hundredths, not tenths. Okay, I hope that made some sense. Because now we're past the three, but not all the way to the four on in the little tenths marks. OK, now let's try to do this on coordinate plane. The first one we're just going to do in the quadrant one, right? The positive positive quadrant. So where's point D? Point D is right, right there. So we've got one here and two here. So let's think about this in terms of decimals now instead of fractions. We said we have to break up the whole into tenths or hundreds or thousands. So let's break up the whole into tenths. From here to here to here is one, right? So if I have 10 dashes in between here, this is going to be the fifth dash right here. This is going to be 0 0.5 because five is in the middle, right in the middle of 10, right? Five, if I have 10 dashes, five is right in the middle. So that is 0 0.5 right there. And so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 1.5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 2.5, okay? Same with this. This is going to be 0 0.5. This is going to be 1.5. And this up here is going to be 2.5. I hope this is making some kind of sense. So D is at 2.5 for the X coordinate and 1.5 for the Y. If we were to write that as fraction, it would be two and a half, one and a half. All right. Now let's, we're going to do a couple here as decimals now. So let's look at this. From 0 to 2, we know this is 1, 2, that's going to be 1, okay? And then 2, this is going to be from, oh, it's hard to see those lines. 1, 2, that's going to be 3, and then 3 and a half, 4, right? So we have each of these is a half, half, 1, half, 2, half, 3, half, 4. Same with this way, negative 1, negative 3, 
Should I zoom in? This is one that was hard to see in the fractions one. OK, so you can see what I'm doing. Now, going up, we have one here, two, three is right there, four, and then negative one is right there. And then one, two, negative two, one, two, negative three. OK, now in between, remember they're basically right in the middle. And again, that's a half, one, half, two, half, three, half, four, and a half in decimals is 0 0.5 because 5 out of 10 would be half. 5 tenths would be half because if you break something up into 10 pieces, half of those pieces are five of them, right? So 5 tenths is half. So if I want to know, let's say, where point Z is, I start at 0, 0, I go to half, and then I go, so the X coordinate for Z is 0 0.5, comma, that's half, and then it's at four for the y coordinate, four. So not all the way to one, just to half, and then up four, okay? Let's do Q. Q is at, if I, I'm gonna go to the left, so that's negative, negative one, negative two, so Q's at negative two, and then I'm gonna go down to, let's see, there's negative two there, but it's not all the way to negative three, so negative 2.5. So if you need to pause the video and relook at this, ask questions, please do. Decimals and fractions basically tell you the same thing. They're parts of a whole. But, de but decimals have to have a base of 10, denominators of 10, 100, 1,000, so on, because the place values are in tenths, hundredths, thousandths. All right. Three Point 1B, decimals and on a number line and a coordinate plane.